Swamp Fang! Dun, 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 dun. You make the rot sing! Dun, 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 dun. Jason Woodrew is gross and stuff! Yeah! This is really bad. Swamp Thing! Hey guys! Welcome to the final episode review of Swamp Thing. It's sad. We're all I gotta sad. pour one out for my boy real quick. Bless up. Bless <laughs> up, Jason Woodrew. Phantom Stranger. Alright guys, welcome to Fake Nerds Watch. I'm Ryan Leopolis. This is Sparks Witty. That's Ben Magnet. Uh, and we're here to tie up some loose ends. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, again, like I said, it's the final episode of Swamp Thing. Episode uh, 10. Boy, guys. Uh, loose ends. I think this is a bad episode of the show. This is a bad episode of television. But it is. Not, it is not their fault. Nope. Uh, this, is what, this is a clear indication of what happens when your show is shut down mid-production. Here, here's the thing. Oh, man. This episode is, yeah, it's the weakest, right? We can all agree that's the weakest episode. <sighs> because, because the lead-up is, like, you can see them ending the show super early. Yeah. Like... They write yeah. off. They write off so many characters early. I feel like uh, you can kind of see the trajectory. They tie up loose ends. They tie up loose ends exactly. And then the end. It's, it's, it's not an ending. It's the end of a regular episode of a TV show. It's not a finale. There's nothing. There's a cool cliffhanger, but I that was part of the show in the later episodes. I bet. Uh, so I'm just. I'm really kind of bummed out that this is the end that we got. Uh, it's still a great show. The entire season was. Mwah, beautiful and even this entire episode like was good but having this be the final episode is like just like a real bummer yeah real bummer uh i think everything with abby and alec was beautiful was excellent yes and i was so here for it yes uh crystal reed was awesome the whole series yes and she was awesome in this episode uh big props to Derek mirrors normally a stunt guy not really a leading actor kind of guy uh being swamp thing looking great in, in the suit Hell yeah. uh acting a lot in the show uh being able to emote and make me believe in a swamp creature falling in love with a regular person a la beauty and the beast uh so like good job on them good job on the whole team uh that's thanks that's, for, that's thanks the for being there andy bean thanks for being there andy bean now, see him in, at chapter two later this year yeah heck yeah uh I will say, yeah, the Abby and Alex stuff, like, that is the core of what I wanted, you know, them to show me with what we had left of the episodes. Uh, luckily, we did kind of focus on them, uh, and I enjoyed most of it, I gotta say, yeah. yeah. Everything else was kind of like, oh man, I can tell they're tying up loose ends, you know? They're Russian. They're Russian. Yeah. I mean, it takes place in Louisiana, but they're definitely feeling a little Russian right now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you just want to start at the beginning, I guess, Saboso? Yeah. Or do you want to do kind of just like a whole whole end recap kind I mean of thing. yeah because it all just it all jumped around so fast this, yeah. whole, this whole episode felt really smushed together yeah. no, you no, know? no scene got to play out play out and yeah. breathe like yeah no breath yeah yeah I would have I would have honestly stopped jumping around as much and just let long streams just follow through yeah. like all of Avery once he's at the hospital yeah all of Swamp Thing in the swamp with the people yeah uh, all of uh, all of Woodrow with once Abby is there yeah uh, it, t- it begins right when uh, last episode uh, left, where Alex, you know, found his body in yes. in the river or the. That swamp. was a great scene. Yeah, right? it was a great scene, and then it continues on. It's like, you know, like I'm not the person that you think I am, Ab- Abby. Like Alec is dead, and you need to accept that. And she's trying so hard, and I love it. But she's like, you're, I, you're still Alec up here and in your heart and all that, all that romantic stuff. And I'm like, she's like, I look in your eyes, and I care about the person that you are. Yes, that's awesome. I see. The person you you want to be, and he's struggling so yeah. hard, man. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's trying. So good. He is. He is really trying, or she's I'm really trying. I'm just this thing. Yeah, I like that, that they keep uh, using the word thing. It's real I was hoping so much that he would say, "I'm this swamp thing." Yeah, I think things enough. That yeah. a little too on the nose. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they did say thing a lot. There's this really cool. I know it's jumping way to the end. Yeah, episode, we're jumpers. But there's this really good scene with Ghost Andy, uh, Ghost Andy Bean, Ghost Alec Holland. Talking to Swamp Thing, and then Swamp Thing's like, "Go away, you're dead." Yeah. And it's like, "Dude, yeah, I get it." Yeah. But like physically, I'm dead, but I'm still right I'm here. Dead, dead. But I'm He's still like, your consciousness, go, buddy. Go away, you're dead. Yeah. yeah like, what does that uh, even mean, my man? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, dude, there's like one person here that you know you want to stay for. Yeah. So. So let's uh, let's let's wrap up all the loose ends real quick before we get to like you know the meat of the episode. Uh, so like, do you want to go Maria Sunderland first? Yeah. Yeah. So hers she's... was like very like. Man, that's the one where I felt the most like I. That was shocking. This is like her ending, and I'm like, I would have preferred to have not seen her at all. Yeah, 
Honestly, yeah. instead I would of giving her to like, a send leave, off, leave her where she was. I didn't need to see her because like that kind of was in a way that could have been her send off. Is like she's in the in the mental hospital. We'll, we'll the come end. back to it someday. Yeah. if we could. There was could. some really cool horror imagery of her in the in the in the that was house. great. Like there was this part where, where she's up on the wall on the pad wall and you see all these bloody hands. Oh, that was, yeah. Xanadu pops out out of freaking nowhere. Yeah, and it's like. Hey, you <laughs> opened a box of demons. For the first time so, in like three ep- four episodes, right? Yeah, She's been three, a, three. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. But she pops out of nowhere and is like, hey, I can help you fight these demons because you screwed up trying to get your daughter or to see your daughter for a hot second. So yeah. I'm going to give you the piece you want. Yeah. But it's going to come in price and I don't think you're going to like it. And she's like, well, screw that noise. I want to see my daughter. I'd rather be happy. Yeah. yeah. So she essentially turns, um, Xandu turns Maria Sutherland completely crazy yeah because she's like oh look my daughter is here and you see the last cut is um shauna and maria hugging regular looking shauna yeah. i will tell you <clears throat> i have a problem with maria being so eccentric so quickly in the mental hospital before xanadu shows up yeah i have an issue with it and my issue is that like i can accept that she was kind of losing it because of what she'd opened up and seeing go shauna i can accept that, that was early early in, in the season. season yeah it was. and then i can accept that after that passed and shauna's spirit no longer showed up maria was completely in control of her faculties and then she was like taking yes. over yeah, the, she somehow was, she was she immediately went back to having lost like it that, the moment dude. she's in the mental institution no 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 there was some stuff like either they didn't shoot it or it was all cut because like again, this feels like a really rushed, rushed she's finale supposed, for her. She's supposed to have only been in there for a day. Yeah, this it is just, all just happened, the next right? day. Yeah, this feels super rushed. Yeah. yeah, because she was just like working Avery over, like when he was dead, like a day ago, right? When everyone thought he was dead. I was, yeah. com- I completely forgot. I almost forgot all the crazy stuff with her, Susie, and, and Ghost Shauna. Yeah. But then once she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna take over Avery's business. I'm gonna take over the Empire. She's gonna be like Lord Sutherland over Moray, essentially." I was all for that. Yeah. I was like, yes, this is how Avery gets, he gets gutted or he gets to the turn to the like, lot or these something. Last, these last two episodes, like the timeline has been like, you can tell it's been accelerated hardcore. Yeah. Like so much has been cut because they have to, they have to, end. again, it's weird because they they have to end the show, but there isn't an ending. So like, it feels like all this cutting and rushing for kind of no reason. Yeah. Uh, Blue Devil, uh, he, you know, he wakes up from his being, from his, uh, uh bloody naked encounter, uh, saving, uh, Liz and, and Abby. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's at his shop, and then Liz goes to visit him. Liz is looking at comics of yep. the Blue Devil. Yes, and she's and like, goes, oh, I'm reminded, like, oh, he saved my she's life. She's like, it's gotta be Daniel, right? Yeah. At least Liz is smart. She puts that stuff yeah, together. Yeah, Detective Liz, yeah. So she goes and checks it out, and he's like, yeah, I gotta find my path. He, my, and he, my the show. most, like, trailer, like, I gotta find my path. I was like, wow. My destiny. Yeah, it's like your deep your voice deep in like two octaves, my man. It's like, okay, there's a spin off that's never I need my spin off. Yeah. And then yeah, he he goes through the barrier that he couldn't cross at one point, meaning he's free from I guess he did his job of being in a decently like a not great action scene. I guess that was his role in the but show. But he did say that the blue devils keep talking he's the so the blue he's devils hearing the voice. Yeah. yeah. The devil himself the blue devil isn't done with him, yeah. but he can finally leave Murray. Which, yeah, again, like, spin-off so. thing, or, like, he's just, well, I don't know. All right. Feels it, like, again, it, like, fast. But, yeah, yeah the, last, the last two episodes of the handling of the Blue Devil feels the weakest. Yeah. Yeah, Blue Devil, I mean, I was really happy to see him in the last episode. Rushed. This episode, rushed. Maria, rushed. Uh, uh, so, let's go with the Next thing you know, Tom Sawyer's gonna be playing in the background. It's like, <laughs> oh, look, Rush. Oh, Because this whole thing is rushed. You're funny, Ben. Oh. I thought I was a... 21, 12. I'm sick, ladies and gentlemen. My brain is not working so I really so thought well. you were going for a weird to- Tom Sawyer in the swamp joke for a <laughs> second. Whoa, yeah. and then I got the rush part, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. got it. <laughs> um, so let's talk about Jason Woodrew, uh, because the first time we see him, uh, he's tying up his wife with duct tape. Yes. Uh, Which I thought, that's oh, okay. That's kind of, that For me, that's a leap. <laughs> Question. Real quick. <laughs> Did you guys think that she was dead at first? No. Because for I, I, when we first see her, Right before it goes to the opening credits, I thought she was dead. She is, like, basically comatose, yeah. I, yeah. I hoped that she wasn't, because I'm like, if she's dead, we've gone a real step of crazy. Yes. Yeah. That, that like, I'm, yeah. whole oh, man. <laughs> I imagine he <laughs> You duct- went from zero to 30. I imagine he duct taped her because he didn't have, like, a regular wheelchair. He wanted to keep her stable and, like, she wouldn't fall over or anything. Yeah. But also, like, that's... 
kind of crazy. But then she's also like, she's also like so physically locked she can only blink. It's like did yeah, you need the exactly? Duct tape? I feel like that was just a way to like be sinister for kind of no reason. Even though he's like his mode is already sinister. Who I knows? Agree with duct tape. I agree with you. Who knows? And that and that that's a creative decision. That's not a rust decision. So that's just a decision I don't like actually. Um, but, like, everything about the scene, like, I'm into. Like, oh, I'm gonna cook it up, honey, and, like, oh, I, you think I wouldn't test this on myself before giving it to you? You're crazy. Oh, Lord. Hum, num, num. The, second he, good. the second he busts out of Swamp Thing's organs. I was like, I got a lot of And he's and chopping them up, and he's throwing them into a, a pasta salad, or a pasta thing. Yeah. And he's like, this reminds me of my first, that, that's. Our first date. That's, that's getting a little kingpin. <laughs> well, that was, I thought it was more Richard Nixon, Nixon but he's like, oh, I'm not a oh this is, this is our first date, honey. This is our first date. Like and, like, and then joking. he's like going to feed it to her. And then he goes, oh, mm, oh I, I would try it on me first. And then he he kind of, he does Spazzes keel, out immediately. Yeah, he does a keel over, but he spazzes. And then she's getting more of her motor functions back. Because you can tell she's like, okay, I can She's like blinking a lot because she's freaking out. Yeah, she can react more. And she's like, what the fuck is going on And then on he, here? he like wakes up, he puts his hand on the table. And it causes uh, his wood table to splinter. Yeah. Meaning he's now connected to the green. Which is awesome, because it's... I knew this was going to be, like, The Fly. If you guys have seen The Fly, Jeff Goldblum, uh, he he, he uh, is attached to, like, fly DNA, but he slowly becomes a fly. It's not it's not immediate. So he has all the powers of a fly, but then he becomes gross. So that's why I like that with Jason Woodrow. I bet if we had three more episodes, we would see his slow transition instead of him just being a crazy swamp monster at the very end, uh, which I thought looked cool. But It does look cool. He kind of looks like a demon. He is very demonic, yeah. In a way. Uh, in the very last step, in the very last Also, shot. all that makeup does not help his mouth problem anymore, because no. it's extra, extra... I can't understand what you're saying a they little bit. They even modulate it a little bit more, Yeah. so it's like, oh, it's really hard to listen to yeah. him. I, I followed him. I mean, like, yeah. I, I, no, no more difficult than he was prior to, yeah. in okay. my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I, I almost wondered in that moment, I'm like, Maybe they tested him in the suit first before, yeah, yeah, and so he just made a voice choice, so he never sounded weird. That's actually a good point. Maybe, yeah. Uh, so let's see what's go- what's going on with Maddie. Maddie's in the hospital because yeah, of his still, wreck. Still in the hospital. No um, arcane, anything. No, no flies. No, which is fine. Which is a bit of a bummer, but okay. Um, I find it. I find it less than fine. I'm like, why do the car accident at all? Yeah. If you're it, not gonna do the fly, makes me wonder yeah. if they un cgi to fly that they maybe put in because they cut those episodes again. Sure. Who, again, who, who really knows? But uh, he does have a really, really sweet moment with his mom, which I thought was really nice. Yeah. Uh, where she's like, you know, honey, like, I love you, like, so much. Everything I do, I do for you. Just, like, always remember that. And he's like, Ma, I, you don't have to tell me that. I know that. Uh, and I thought that was a really nice scene. And then Avery comes. Oh, God. Oh, what an ass. Okay. Oh, this so, is, like, maybe my favorite scene so when well, Avery's trying to suck up to well, we Celia. Well, before well, that. Before we go there, sorry, yeah. Avery, Avery went to... Avery went around... And uh, was getting turned down by everybody. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Conclave with oh, Jake yeah. Busey was like, oh, Jake, F.U. Jake Avery. <laughs> F.U. Avery, we know that you've been screwing this up yeah. for a while. Get your house in order. Yeah, Nathan Ellery is not having any of it. No. He's like, you're taking over, you suck. He's like, uh-uh, I don't give a shit, you're done. Yeah. Go away, fix your stuff. We got Jake Busey, baby. Then come back. We gotta make yeah. Predator. Yeah. <laughs> and so then Avery's at, sorry. Avery's at um, Delroy's. Delroy's getting drunk, getting drunk, uh, getting getting drinks, and being real sad about himself. Yep. And he's like, "I'll bounce back. I land on my feet. I'm, I'm he's gonna like, do I, I, this, this town, town loves, loves me. me." And he's yelling, he's "Like I take care of this town, and you guys love me, right? Right, everybody? You guys and love like me, right?" The two guys at the pool table were like. What? I really wanted what? one just like swamp guy to be like, no, nah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like really drunk, just yeah. and Avery's Avery. like, see, I've got that guy. <laughs> yeah, and again, I love Avery. Like he's trying to feel, he's trying to get self pity, uh, and then Delroy's like, uh, uh, he's like, get out of here. Oh yeah, call cab, Avery, go home. And then he's like, you forget that I own this building, my man. And I'm like, there's Avery being. Avery. Then he yeah. finds out that Matt was in an accident. And he's like, my boy. And you you can see the like transition on his face where he's like. Oh, I should go visit him. I should. I should oh, go. Yeah. My oh, boy. That's the dad thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Shows and up to the hospital. Drunk. Shows up at the hospital, and he's like, "Mal, come through." He's a strong boy. And she's like, "You get the fuck out of here." Yeah. yeah. Uh, he has that. Gr- he has that great thing where he's like, "Maria's locked up. We're probably gonna get divorced soon." He boy. is playing his cards. It's so. It's it's so good. But and honestly, I think some of it is true. I think he does love Lucilia. It's the oh, closest. Yeah. Oh, real yeah. connection he has. So this is his last card. Like, his last card in his hand. Uh, I, feel, I feel that him going to Lucilia and saying, "Hey, she's in the pen, she's in the big house, or she's in the nut house. 
We're probably gonna get divorced soon. You tried to kill me, but I'm okay. But it's okay. I'll. But it's a father's duty for to forgive. Yes. So we could finally be together. We could have what you always wanted. What you we, always wanted. We could be together, Father Lucilia. We could have, be a real family. It's again. not over. Stop. And fresh. she did a good job. This look on her face, like she was buying it. Yeah. And I'm like, don't do this. Yeah. I, I knew. I knew she wasn't going. For to. a second, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh no. She, she's nah, not gonna go I, but for she it. was selling it. Like, yeah. Something Avery isn't good at. And it's not the actor, it's a character choice. No, absolutely. Avery's not good at selling yeah. his bullshit. Not anymore. Lucilia, yeah. never. No? He, no. Not at the beginning? He was so bad. Okay. That was, We talked about this. Yeah. He was so bad at, like, remember when he threatened Delroy? And it wasn't even thinly veiled? Yeah, that's true. Or when he threatens right. Liz? Oh, you okay. mean when he, was, not when he was Zeal. cutting like, the turtle up and turtles? Tywin the turtles. style? Yes. He's not good at it. Yeah, you're right. Okay. He's slick, but everybody knows no, he's even, slick. No, even earlier when he was like, everyone who's able, we're going to throw a crawfish boil. That's like the first episode, right? That yeah, was yeah. like episode three or yeah, something. Yeah, okay, yeah. He's, he's slick, but everybody's aware of it. Oh, so nobody shit. really trusts him 100%. Yeah, you're right. But Lucilia sells this. She yeah. sells like she's buying this to get in close and be like, uh... You stabbed our son, you stupid idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you like, stabbed your son. <laughs> you're going to hell. <laughs> and I, I hope I'm the person who put you there. I should shoot you right now, but yeah. there are cameras around yeah. here, so you're lucky. She's awesome. Get. Uh, uh, and then we might as well just go to the aftermath of that scene, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Because right we're kind of jumping around. Right when she, after the really cute or the really nice. The um, moment she looked back and said, I love you, Matthew. I was like, you did. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can't have a sweet... This doesn't remind me of like The Walking Dead. Like, you can't have this beautiful moment between these two people and like, oh no, something bad's happening immediately. Right? No, the second she was walking out and the fog was out, uh, it was either you or my girlfriend who was like, oh man, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, that was me. It? I was like, oh, she dead, yeah. She oh, yeah. dead. She, then she, she gets inside, the windows are all fogged up, I'm like, oh, he's in the back, so, oh, you idiot. And then you look in the, uh, uh, the mirror, and he's like, I always loved you. Shank. And then shazam! Like, oh wow, that went real deep. Oh boy. Yep. I feel bad, but I feel like Lucilia makes dumb choices. Well, no, she's, she's she a did. murderer she's, and a bad person. She's, well, and she's not good at this. Yeah. No. Like, you were suspicious. You didn't check the back of your car. You yeah. didn't just, like, peek around. Yeah. She, also, she was asking for this. Squad cars, you can't get in the back seat. Squad car is like, I don't nope, even want to yeah. get into That's it. not an yeah, issue that's I have, not, honestly. Yeah, that's not an issue. That's yeah. not an issue. Uh, but still, it's like, you should look and be able to see what's in the back seat of your car. And then and then Avery takes the body and then somehow gets two cars because he takes the police car and his SUV. And he doesn't have a driver or anything. And that's a good thing you pointed out. Because uh, he dumps her, Lucilia, in the back of the, the trunk into the lake. Uh, into and the she, swamp. Into the swamp. And she dies. Yeah. For all we know, that's mm -hmm. like the end of Lucy. She's dead. And then Avery gets in his SUV, and you're like, "How did he get that car out there?" <laughs> and I'm like, "But wait, also, wait a minute." But here's another dumb thing. What? Uh, she had her phone. That was. Uh, she looked at her phone. She, and then turned, she, the she turned on the flashlight. She turned on the, she turned on the flashlight. flashlight. She didn't use it to text or call. She. I would have believed her death a lot more. If she could have like texted yes, Matt or someone like I, got I, stabbed I honestly, by Avery. I didn't. I didn't need to see her in the trunk. Same. Yeah. I could have just seen the car going in and been like, cool. You know what that makes done. me think? That she survives. Somehow. If if there were more episodes. Because why would they do that? You know, for real though, right? No, I know. Like, Probably. why would, like, this is not the first time, like, Avery was shot and landed in the swamp. He was fine. But even then, if you were cutting this episode together, I would have just shown the car going into yeah. the water. But like, again, this episode wasn't well crafted to be an ending for anything. No, I know. Uh, which again, is a real bummer. Yeah. A real bummer. Um, yeah, I don't like... I mean, Avery's bad at killing people. Uh, Clearly. Like, and, and, and hiding it. Yes. Like, like, let's be clear. It's it's baffling that he wasn't busted up for things before now. Yeah. Um, but he stabs a cop in her car in the parking lot of a hospital. Yes. And then somehow moves her body to the trunk and drives that police car away. Yep. To dump it. And I'm like, I can't... I don't know if I can buy and this. This is right after a car that was parked right next to her, a girl got into it. <laughs> yeah. A oh, doctor. Yeah. A doctor. The, the second, so... Uh, a doctor who walked from the opposite, somewhere Yeah, else. from the opposite <laughs> side. There must be two different sides of the hospital. Uh, that's just a funny thing. Um, yeah, this episode wasn't very good. And I'm so, it makes me really sad. Well, it wasn't very good because it, was cut, it yeah. wasn't cut very well. No, yeah. They literally, there were also some bad choices. There I mean, were, yeah. yeah. I mean, whether they were rush choices or just bad choices, who yeah. knows? Because like Ryan said, there's the duct tape thing. And it's like, I don't think that's a rush choice. I think that's just a bad choice. Yeah, it's a bad choice. Um, uh, let's see. What do we got? Um, so, yeah, Xandu shows up, and then and then the Maria stuff, that's done. The Matt yeah. stuff's done. Yeah, Xandu came back yeah, for yeah. the Maria stuff, Blue, and I'm Blue like... Blue Devil's gone. Cool. Yeah. 
whatever. Um, so then, uh, man, what's... I think, I think the, all it's left I keep is, trying to think of what the ending of the show is, but it doesn't have an ending. It's just like so it's, it, it, well, Abby and Alex. I don't want to touch on the Abby and Alex stuff yeah. till the very end, because it's the best part. Yeah. Well, um, there's Abby's, Abby's pursuing Avery... Okay, yeah. So that's what brings her to the house, which is where Woodrow has his that's wife. That's right, right, And right. has been doing all this, and he's already eaten the plant by the time she so shows up, and he's like, ah, I can do this. And for some reason, Abby just lets him put her in a chair. Yes. Yeah. And watches for a while. Yeah. I guess maybe, she, I, I guess. think she's really curious. Uh, or afraid. And like both, I can both, buy, both, yeah. And I can buy afraid. Yeah. I think both, yeah. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah. And so, yeah, he's, uh, so Ab, uh, he's like, oh, I'm gonna, I have this thing, and... I have this a sample, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's Alec Holland. Like, you treat him like 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 he's he's like a, a lab subject, and like he's not a person. He's not alive. He's like he's a plan. Like Abby, come on, right. be a scientist. Yeah, uh, I like Kevin Durant. He I did too. a good job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I would say like, oh, Jason's kind of a stretch too far in the crazy them, but I'm like, you know, the pieces are there. He's yeah. he's been heading this direction. We all knew it. Yeah, uh, I can buy it. Yeah, I can buy it. Um, I can also buy the idea that, like, once he eats the plant, he gets crazier, more unhinged, yes, because uh, that it's I, in him. Yes. Yeah. I, I can Because he, he now knows the truth, and he's connected to the green, so he's like, oh, this is all possible. Yeah. I can't save my wife. So, like, he's like, Abby, get the hell out of my way. I know, I actually know what I'm doing now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, before he turns into a big old crazy monster. Yeah, then the cops show up. Um, tase they, his ass. <laughs> they tase him. Yeah. And then they get um, Caroline to a hospital. That's actually sad, because he's like, where's my wife? Where's my wife? Like, yeah. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Please don't please don't take her. Please don't take her. Yeah, Jason goes to the back of the squad car, and then it Abby goes off to find it it out. It is sad, because I, I highly suspect she'll die. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if we continued on, I think I don't think because, she makes it. Yeah. It's either she doesn't make it, or she does and she recovers, but just enough to say, like, to, like, not recognize him anymore. Yeah. Well, she definitely doesn't recognize him now. No, I know, but yeah. like, but like, not even remember him. Yeah, yeah. And he has to just live with that because mm-hmm. he failed. Either way, he failed. Yeah, yeah he did fail. Yeah, yeah. So now, do we get to the part where the um, uh, what's the guy getting after the contract? I'm trying to think because a whole lot of shit happened. Oh yeah, well we forgot oh, hey, the, the action scene. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so Jake Busey's here. Jake Busey. Yeah. Who's gonna definitely show up for the next three episodes and not get murdered this episode? <laughs> Nah, he got murdered. He should have got murdered. Probably one of my favorite deaths since uh, the guy got ripped into pieces yeah. in the first episode. Because, like, you don't, it, like, it's because, like, he was in Stranger Things for, like, the whole season as, like, a bit character. Second episode, sorry. Uh, so, uh, so, like, oh, Jake Busey's here. He's probably going to be, like, one of the, like, the henchmen for the next three episodes. Nah. No. He straight up gets murdered. His whole lower jaw just, like, just gets ripped off. Yeah. That was Because they're dope. like, yeah, we're going to try and find this guy. And this one dude gets, like, caught and he's, like, strung up in the trees. Very the, like like Jesus. Yeah, all okay. the soul, all the black ops guys show. They're like, oh no! Then all the vines start coming up. They have machetes. They're like going ah ah. Go there's away. a little too much of that. I would say there is. like something so powerful. Like th- there's like a lot of just ah. Well, and there's ah. there's CGI that like clearly was rushed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I feel and, like they 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 kind of extended that scene a little longer than it probably should have been. But it's probably one of the only things they had filmed. Yeah. Exactly. Again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So and then they're like, hey, it's good from over there. Let's all shoot there's that general direction. Like near the end, where there's like a lot of walking and darkness and fog, and it's like, it's still going. Yeah. We're still walking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But again, then uh, cool action stuff happens. Uh, I really like the shoulder pieces. That's the uh, best thing, dude. And that the fact that they weren't always CGI. Yeah. They were costume designed on pieces that yeah, were there dude. sometimes. I was like, that's really cool. Uh, again, it reminded me of, like, Injustice. Like, the, fi- the the DC fighting game where you can change your skin. I'm like, oh, he's in his warrior mode now. Like, that's... And he had, like, the sword the last episode. Like, some cool shit, man. Yeah. Not enough of it, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, I do like him and Ellery. He keeps him alive saying, send a message, like, hey, uh, don't tell any... What did, what did he say? Like, don't tell Send a message to your other people, tell them, leave me alone. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Don't come back here, you know what you got, you know what you got coming. Yeah, because Ellery's like, oh, Alec, we can help. Think of all that you can do for you, Maddie. I am not Alec yeah. Holland. Well, think you can save the leave, world. He's like, you me showed me that. Yeah. Like, yeah. why would I want to do that? Why would I help people? People pulled out my heart in front of me. That's, that's some, that's really tragic. <laughs> you did this to me. Yeah. Yeah, everything with Alec is great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, everything with Swamp Thing is so, excellent. Yeah, LRA it's, runs it's, off. It's yeah. kind of the it's I wouldn't I would even say Woodrow's stuff with him and Abby That's and good, his yeah. wife. It all works. It all works for me. It's it's a, honestly it's a strong narrative throughout the episode. It's the Maria and Avery stuff that feels really shoehorned into yeah. this episode. Um, oh, and I, I, honestly, honestly, I could have lost 
All the Maria stuff. Oh, Avery. Avery yeah, spit he, something out, right? He, like, coughs up a oh piece my of gosh, plant. Yeah. It is, uh... But it definitely did not look, like, black like the rod. No. It looked like a plant. It looked like plant So that stuff. could literally mean anything, unfortunately. But, it, again, it's the end of the season, so yeah, who knows? Yeah, we have no idea. I would have preferred if it was, like, something rot-related instead of being a plant, because that... At, Raises more questions. Yeah. I mean, it I, It doesn't tell us a lot because people were coughing up green stuff earlier. Maria did too, right? He might just be sick. Yeah. Like they were. Yeah, let's guess. Oh, he could be getting the, the green flu. Yeah. Oh, that's a plot a thing that won't happen. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dog. Uh, what we got left? Besides besides the good stuff, of course. I'm trying to Liz, think. Liz says her goodbyes with Daniel. That's I wonder that if, stuff. like, in the original intention was for it to slowly kill Avery into the last episodes. Yeah. Like, I, it just, like, Abby wouldn't save him. Yeah. That kind of thing. Where does Avery end? Like, where is he? Like, in his like, car. He's in his car. car. Okay. He just coughed up a plant thing. And we're all... What guess- the fuck? Okay. Yeah. We're all guessing it was, like, it was part of a, a rot thing. Yeah. But since it was bright and green, we're like, that's I'm trying to think, not like, rot. I that's still, something else, but okay. I, if, if... It makes me wonder if, like, I think the Woodrow stuff was planned to him turn into a Floronic Man no matter how many episodes, but it makes me wonder if, if him and Alec, Alec and Avery having a meeting was gonna, actually going to be the end, and Jason was going to be the next season, like, villain. Because, uh, like, we just end in Avery in a car, and that's the end of Avery. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That's- as, as I suspected when we were episodes back, and I was saying, you know, we know this got canceled, I'm like, I don't think we get to see Avery get his come up. I don't think that's- we're going to get it. Yeah. Um... It's I would have. I think I would have preferred to see Avery get taken out by Swamp Thing than to see Jason. Even though I like Woodrow, I feel like they didn't need to necessarily do this so fast. I I agree because it you. happens in one I, episode. I agree with you that I would have preferred to have seen uh, Avery taken out by Swamp Thing. However, once we were getting to this episode, I was like, I kind of don't want to see it in episode ten because the legwork had not been done to convince me of why Swamp Thing would target him. That's true. You're right. You're right. Like, it wasn't there. It You're would have right. been rushed in this, too. Yeah. Uh, and, and so, yes, that's what I wanted, ultimately. Yeah. But they did not put the things to yeah. get us there. I also uh, like... Which like, bums me out. Again, on the, on the flip side, like, I, I like Jason Woodrow, but, like, he turns into Thronic Man, like, in one episode. I'm like, man, that's so fast to me. It seems kind of fast. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was meant to be. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't think he was meant to be the Floronic Man by the end of episode 10. Yeah. I think that very much is a scene... Because Matt's all of a sudden out of the hospital, and fine. Yeah. So I think yeah. that was very clearly a scene that they that was in a later episode, possibly the last yeah. original episode 13, and they'd filmed it in advance. And they'd gotten the whole Because they had to do the special effects early. And stuff. Yeah, and so they're like, why don't we just put that there? Because we did it. Yeah. We put him in the suit. We yeah. had the suit. So, yeah, we made the suit. Uh, Let's show him before in the suit. Before uh, we finish with Alec and Abby, like, yeah, we can talk about Jason Woodrow, because uh, he gets taken to the police station. And then uh, it's sometime after. We don't know how long, but... Uh, Some decent amount of time. Yeah, it has to be, because Matt goes back to the, to the police station, and nobody's there, and he's like, what's going on? All the lights are off, and the place looks like a wreck. Are you guys playing a prank on me? And then he sees that plants are growing in random places, uh, and he looks at one of the cells, and it's been ripped open, and there's plants all around it. And we immediately know it's Jason Woodrow. Uh, I didn't fully expect him to be completely swamped out, uh, I was kind of hoping to be like kind of like half, but like he's straight up a monster. He's straight yeah. up a swamp monster, and it looks pretty good. Uh, his face kind of looks more demonic than than swamp, but like you know, that's not a complaint I really care about. It's not. That's kind of that, that's kind of how he looks in the comics, though. Yeah, it's more devilish in his design. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. He has sharper teeth. I think his it's eyes kind of narrow. Weird me it's out. a more narrow. Yeah. Uh, look, and he has the, the spike. spikes. No, you're yeah. right. You're right. Uh, that's that's kind of the design. What I would say is I wish he was a little more yellow yeah. than green. Yeah. Um, I thought he was a little too green. I'm like, that's a little too yeah. easy to mix up with Swamp Thing. Yeah. Uh, but again, um, I think it looks really good. Like, it did. It, it's a good. It's a good outfit. If that, that was going to be designed for the next. I would have loved to have seen Kevin Durant going around being Floronic Man yeah. like that. That'd be yeah. cool. That would have been awesome. But yeah. unfortunately. All right. Let's get to the good stuff, stuff. baby. Okay. So uh, everything happened with Alec, and then Abby. He has this moment with uh, Andy Bean, Alec Holland. Swamp yeah. Thing does. And they have a conversation, you still have a heart, and it's like, bro? hey man, why do you think I'm still here? It's because you love somebody. Mm-hmm. Like, like basically, she's your, he doesn't say it, but like, she's your one connect, human connection you, you have left Your one world. connection to humanity. Why, you can't mm-hmm. leave, because then you will lose your humanity. Yeah, basically. yeah. And he's like, oh, who do you want to be, man? You're, not, you're right, Alec Holland's done. But who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? That's so great. And then it, then it like cuts away, and he's just like looking into the swamp, all pensive, like... And it's we great. yeah it starts raining it starts raining it's beautiful, beautiful. yeah it's, it is yeah. beautiful yeah uh, and we get Abby going back to Alex's lab mm-hmm. and Swamp she's Thing is already there she's looking for him and he's like oh he's not here then he's like why did you come back like oh Alec it's not even necessarily clear she's looking for him it's just like she's she's there yeah like she's looking for something okay um 
I don't know that's specifically an object. I think it's more like a, a kind of like, in her mind, a walk down a, memory, lane. A memory lane kind of thing. Yeah. Um, she kind of has nowhere else she wants to be at that time. That's true. Uh, because it doesn't look like she's specifically searching for him. Because she hasn't found him there yeah. for a while. He's been in the swamp and he finds her. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like she was just very pointedly going back there. Okay. And uh, Swamp Thing's there and he's like, why'd you come back? And they, they both admit that like, the one thing keeping them to, around is the idea of seeing each other again. Yep. And she's like, that's what we have in common. And it's just a callback to what they said in the first episode. And it's like, oh, I see yeah. you, Alec. Uh, I see you. Swamp Thing is like, uh, you know, I was going to return to the swamp and never come back. Der- Derek Muir is being really great. Yeah. Crystal Reed oh, being yeah. really great. Uh, and he's like, uh, I was never going to come back. But then I, I, the thought of never seeing you again like, was real sad. And I was like, oh, that's so good. And then she's like doing her like flustered, teary eyed, beautiful Christopher Reed thing. And like, oh, well, then we have that in common. We both obviously love each other. Uh, her moment, just jumping back real quick, Crystal Reed's moment when Xanadu says to leave Maria, don't bother her, and like how she wants to reach out to her, oh, yeah. but decides it's best not to. All that hesitation, chef kiss acting. Hell yeah. So good. Yeah, she's um, been, everyone in the show's been real good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, they have a really beautiful moment, and Alex says the darkness is still trying to reach out, and she's like, well, I'm not going anywhere, so we'll face it together. And it ends with the, kind of like a more triumphant version of the theme. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, like, zooms out zooms, of the swamp. pulls out of the swamp and the, and the lab, and that's the end. And, uh... <sighs> and, man, like, as this is happening, like, I'm thinking of time, I'm like, is this the end of the episode? And I'm like, it can't be. Nothing's happening. Like, I mean, like, for, for a finale, I'm like... There's not really anything going on, and then it cuts the credits. I'm like, oh man. I mean, the, the finale of it is the thing, the one thing that I did they're con- want. They're like, they are together. I'm glad it didn't end on some cliffhanger where Abby and Alec are apart, and yeah. Alec and and Swamp Thing believes that there's no Alec Hall and, and yeah. no no reason for him to stay connected to Abby. I'm glad we're not there because yes. I think that is something that was going to play out over a couple of episodes. Um, I'm true. glad we're at a moment where like. I, I'm not Alec Holland, but I, I am this thing, and I care about you, and that's really all that matters now. You know what? Yeah. I guess I and, am satisfied. I, I'm satisfied with yeah. that part of it. Because that is the stuff that I, that again, like that's what I like most about the, the comic, is those two characters. They so might like, not have openly admitted they loved each other, but they got damn They close. might as well. I mean, they, they were like, they, it's they, right they shared a kiss already. They're like, hey, I care about you, Alex, so I want to stay here with you. I want to yeah. help you fight this darkness. Yeah. And it's like, great opening, or like, hey, what was like hey great like try to plant no no pun intended plant the seeds for season two that we're not gonna get yeah. which sucks yeah. but what are you gonna do make more swamp thing oh yeah, yeah. Like crystal reed and Derek mirrors because they're they're the best oh my god i hope there's like a comic-con panel for this because i would i would do everything to go to that panel yeah oh man oh yeah oh uh, so this is the end of the season why don't i talk about what, what what's your favorite stuff from the season like what's the stuff that stands out honestly i think the pilot is like Incredible, and I still think about that, like the thing monster. Like I think about that all the time, and I look at gifts on on like when I'm on Twitter, looking up Swamp Thing. I'm like, oh yeah, that was amazing, and like all the practical effects for Swamp Thing are so good in the season. Uh, what stuff you guys liked a lot? I would have to say the pra- the practicals, but um, the suit for Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm. Like every time I see that on screen, I'm like that is. I mean, maybe it was touched up with CGI here and there, but that is a 99% practical suit. It always looks moist. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. I that is. Ooh. I want to see that costume up close. I want to yeah. see it up close, too, because that thing is... It is awesome to look at. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I must... <clears throat> I think I'm just really into Derek Mayers and Crystal Reed. Yeah. I think I think they killed it. Yeah. I think they just killed it. Even when, like, we were in our sloppier, more rushed episodes, they were killing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were just so good. Uh, Kevin Durant did a great job, too, but I never felt like he got to 100% stretch himself. Yeah. Uh, this last episode kind of got the beginnings of the glimpses of that, but I didn't feel like he got to do the things I know Kevin Durant can do yeah. uh, really well, so that sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love Avery Sunderland. I love a really sleazy, especially like a really southern uh, asshole <laughs> who like does like that, that, that George W. Bush baby. Like, I, love I, loved, that. I loved everything with Avery up until we got to him uh, in the swamp and uh, him coming back from the swamp yeah. because once we hit that point I felt like we were kind of meandering without it felt directionless in yeah. a way what was happening Aimless, with Avery yeah yeah, yeah. Um, 
I, it was harder to track, and, and maybe that's a rush thing. It certainly feels like it might have been. Yeah. Because we were near those last couple episodes. Because, again, like, the foundation is all there. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. And then it just slowly, the closer we get to the finale, like, each episode reveals a little bit more and more about the, the rush, the, the, the finality of the season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Matt Cable, I wish had bit, there had been more with him. Dude, I guarantee you with those three, last three episodes, like, there's... I, I cannot see why they put him in a car wreck for no reason. There has got to be, like, yeah. that has got to be, like, Anton Arcane, like, setup stuff. It yeah. was... Like, there's, there is no plot reason other than to, like, make, er, to make the mom care about him, but she already did. Like, it felt it felt really, like, a pointless, like, ten-minute scene that could have been cut. Yeah, I want to say not gonna do anything the with car it. scene was, the, the, car, the, car, the car accident was a setup for the rot. Yeah, had to be. it was. Uh, yeah, I had once you guys told me that uh, that scene in the comics about how Matt Cable becomes the the host. The host. Well, the the thing to me is like you're going for the cliffhanger anyway yeah. with the Floronic Man. Just show us a fly going in his mouth. Yeah. I don't care if that's, isn't that how the questions. episode ends for that specific episode. His car crash. Yeah, the, that's like a big that was deal. the last episode. Yeah, that's a big deal, right? Like he could possibly be dead. It wasn't. It wasn't the very end. Okay, but it was close. Uh, but it was it. close. Well, at least, like, the very end was Alec pulling out the... Got it. So well, at least seeing a fly just get... Even just, like, land on his face, that would I felt like that wasn't Any, enough for Anything, all because it really feels like that was a completely wasted plot point altogether. Yeah, we know the rot was coming. We got the a rot tease. You don't show Anton Arcane in your first couple episodes and not do setup. Yeah. Like, they would have cut that scene. I feel like they should have cut that scene, because that kind of, like, gives you an implication of what they might do. Yeah. Like, eventually, season two was going to be the rot. It was going to be a full-on fight with the Rot we were going to see. Anton Arcane, it was going to be a whole thing. And now we're not going to get that anymore. Yeah. Which Hashtag sucks. Say something. Uh-huh. Hashtag say something. Hey, man, the crazier things have happened. Yeah, very true. Even not, if it, not even even if it doesn't watch. come back uh, on DC Universe, doesn't mean that this can't all be revisited in some form. Hell yeah. Very true. Maybe they don't go to a person who will screw up their taxes. Yes. Yeah, and again, like... It's it's super funny. Like it's it is not the people who made the show's fault that the show got canceled. Like it's not yeah. like the show was bad. It was it was really dumb money decisions. It was. And at the end of the day, like there's nothing anyone could do about that. People care about money more than they do about quality stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that that's that's it. That's it for fake freak nerds. Watch watch Swamp Thing. I'm very glad as a Swamp Thing fan that this show was as good as it was. And uh, if this is the one piece of live action entertainment I get for my favorite character. I am very happy with the with the thing that I got. I could I I, I honestly uh, besides obviously the rushed finale, like I couldn't be happier best, with the result. Best circumstance outcome. Hopefully, uh, this got a lot of people talking about Swamp Thing. Yeah. yeah. Maybe more interested in the character. Maybe we get a kick ass comic run coming. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, something. there is that Walmart Swamp Swamp Thing book that still gets comes out. Uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Walmart. There was. I remember when we were first talking about this coming out, I was really, really scared that because it was going to be on DC Universe, it's Swamp Thing. Not a lot of people know about Swamp Thing. I was really scared. I was terrified, dude. It's yeah. your favorite comic. Yeah, it's your favorite comic. It's a character that I really enjoy. And when, I, when we started doing this and we started watching the episodes, I'm like, this is a really well done show. Yeah. And then we started hearing the news about all the problems that, oh, it's canceled. It's probably going to be canceled. Oh, it's, it's cut to... It's cut to ten, from 13 to 10 episodes. Okay, now it's officially canceled the same day that the first episode launched. Before we even our first review came out, it was canceled. Yeah, so we were all like, well, great, this show's probably... I don't know what you guys think about it. Honestly, my expectation was super low that, oh man, if this thing is already dead in the water, then we're screwed. My expectations weren't low. They were, they were probably around middle. I was like, it's still James Wan. James Wan has a hand in this. This isn't going to be mindless. Len, right. Len Wiseman, uh, who directed the Underworld movies, uh, even though like I don't love all those movies, like that dude is a competent. He also did like Stranger Things. Like he's he's directed episodes of television, Game <clears> of Thrones. Like he's he's a TV guy too. So like I wasn't, I was more worried that they were adapting the Anatomy Lesson more than anything because that is like pinnacle Swamp Thing perfection. Uh, and for the most part, like they did that right. So lots of chef kisses yeah. going around. I'm Italian. Yeah, yeah. I'm Italian today. We're Italian. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I'm putting. Yeah, like, he directed the first two episodes of the season. Yeah. And those were amazing. Hell yeah. I love those first two episodes. And even later on, even when we got to a slower episode, still not bad. Like, yep. that episode where, where that one dude, where that... Zombie sickness, man. Where the, the sickness was going around. And we first get our, our, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the Shadow Rot guy. Oh. Or the Anton Arcane. Yeah. The Shadow of Anton Arcane. That is like, that was oh, so cool. this is still, it's a slower episode, but still really, really good. It's world building, yeah. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. It's a fantastic show, and this finale... If you're ugh. watching this show, you have to have had DC Universe, uh, uh, the app, unless you're a pirate. Don't pirate the show. Read all the comics. The comics are really good. Yeah. I don't think I've read a bad Swamp Thing comic, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's one of those weird characters, much like a Doctor Doom, where, like, it, it attracts the best writers, because that character is so nuanced and so crazy. Uh, so read lots of comics, guys, because Swamp Thing's dead. <laughs> it's dead. It's dead in the water. Dead in the swamp. Dead for now. Dead for now. For now. So yeah, that'll. Yeah. I think that'll do it. Yeah, uh, you know, keep keep the hashtag going, keep the conversation going, talk about this show. It deserves to be talked about. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't let them forget that they made this and that it was really good and you liked it. I will never forget. Um, because they they won't they won't even consider making things like this or some or returning to this if this if was a very expensive aren't talking show. about it. Very yeah. expensive. Yeah. Yeah, and and it should be acknowledged that it it was worth it even if they decided to cancel it. Yes. Um, if it comes out on Blu-ray, buy it. Like, really, buy Hell, it. Do they do yeah. steelbooks of TV shows? Not all the time. Okay. Probably not this. Titans didn't get one, so I don't expect this will. That makes sense. But um, Titans came out at about $24 on Blu-ray. I'll buy it. If Swamp Thing comes out at that, just buy it. Yeah. Please. Like, like, buy if they, Swamp, if buy they, Swamp if Thing. If they do let this go to physical media, support it, purchase it, it will send a message. I want to yeah. see the behind the scenes of the show so bad. Oh, me too. Oh, man. Same. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. This, those are gonna be some crazy behind the scenes. It's because they built a swamp, and I want to see did. what the hell like that awesome swamp set looks like. When they filmed on location, there were divers holding nets in the water to keep gators out. I just want to remind everybody that <laughs> happened. <laughs> That's right. The, the show, the buy you buy. The back. show had a lot of love mm -hmm. in it, like it, and it shows. It and, shows and all, most of the time. And again, like we talked about it at the very beginning, like all the actors have expressed how much they love the show and how much they're sad that it turned out this way because they knew they were working on something special. Yeah. Uh, and then you see the end result. And yeah. I Over. really liked uh, the the day the finale aired. Crystal Reed's last post was just her chair with Abby Arcane on it, mm -hmm. uh, in on location, and she was like just really grateful for the opportunity. This was yeah, awesome. man, it's really nice. Um, it was Derek, a good cast. Derek Mears is a guy who like shows up at a lot of Comic Cons too, so like I'm super excited to meet him now. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. Me too. Oh, I want to go up. I was I, like, dude, your Swamp Thing was. And he's in Twin Peaks, and we watched Twin Peaks, so it's a double feature, baby. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Talk, keep t keep the conversation going. Just keep reminding them. Hey, by the way, I liked that. Yeah. You know, Twitter Twitter actually is more impactful of a lot <clears throat> than you than you think sometimes. It's true. Yeah. Um, James Wan's not unaware that there's love out there for the show, and he still loves it, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I know, like, he, we were talking about, he's making an original horror film right now. He made an Instagram post about people were commenting on it, and it's like, yeah, but Swamp Thing, though. And mm -hmm. someone specifically said, can you just make season two of Swamp Thing? And he's like, believe me, I want to. I, 100%, I believe. Yeah, that. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It, it's, it's, not, it's not undesired, and it's not forgotten. Yeah. So. Yeah. Which is good, because he, like you said, he had a hand in it. He was executive producer. He wants to do more Swamp Thing. Gary Dauberman, who is like one of the guys who who helps make the Conjuring movies, is yeah. on this. Yeah. So like James Wan is a little less less on it, and Gary Dauberman is on it. But that's again a James Wan yes. Conjuring guy. They're, they're very they're close all, to each other. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. want to make more Swamp Thing, which yeah. makes me happy. And yeah. and keep in mind, there are other shows in the DC universe right now. Yeah. He, we can always see some of these things cross back over. Yep. There's an Arrowverse crossover that's announcing cameos all the time. Oh my god. Oh my Constantine's god. in that. I swear to the Lord, it's Swamp Thing show. And I'm just die. saying, like, nothing nothing is dead forever. Nothing. Yeah, Luke, Luke Skywalker told me that. Yeah. Nothing's ever really dead. No one's ever really gone. No one's ever really gone. And Swamp Thing can hopefully be one of those not really gone things. Yo, man, hopefully. Alec Holland was dead in the comics for a long time, but uh, Jeff Johns brought him back in Brightest Day after Blackest Night. The actual Alec Holland. And if that dead guy for 30 years can come back, Swamp Thing can come back. Yeah. I believe yeah. in it. So, keep... Keep it could talking happen. about the show. It could happen. Hashtag save Swamp Thing. Hashtag save Swamp uh, Really liked it overall. It, it, don't blame them for this, but the finale was lackluster in comparison. Yeah. yeah just by just by sake of feeling so rushed. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the things that were strong were still strong. Yeah. Very, uh, very much so. Still, Woodrow, still Woodrow, Woodrow, Woodrow and Abby and Arcane. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Alec, they were all still great. Great characterizations, yeah. Uh, really, really terrific practical effects. Uh, one of the strongest like pilots I've ever seen. Like really, like oh, uh, yeah. even not even that it's Swamp Thing related. Like the atmosphere and tone that it sets. Uh, it's not not a lot of shows bring that tone. Uh, movies do, but not a lot of TV shows. And that's why I really appreciate the show for being a horror centric television show. Yeah, yeah. The, the season as a whole is very good. Mm -hmm. And if you have the DC Universe app, there's no reason you should not be watching Swamp Thing. Yeah. Even if you don't know or care about Swamp Thing, 
give it a shot. Just watch it. And it's, trust me, you will come back You're for not it. watching this episode right I would, now if you haven't. I know. Unless you're his dad. Swan uh, thing. I know. Unless you're my father. Unless you're some person so we who's... Didn't, uh, we didn't do this for Game of Thrones, and I I, I think we, we might have should We could have. Uh, what would you rate this season? Give, what, would, what would you rate Swamp Thing's uh, first and only season? You had to give it a score. Nine. I, I, I was going to give it a nine as well. Nine. Nine out of ten, guys. That's a great yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd honestly give it a 10 if it had probably gotten to run out its full course properly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's a great show. Yeah. A really, truly terrific... If this is... It, yeah. If you... If you're gonna like Swamp Thing, you're gonna like this show. Like, if it's in any way something you would enjoy, this show is something you'll enjoy. That's that's pretty much as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah it was really great. I'm glad we watched it. I'm glad we got to talk about it while I'm it was I'm just glad happening. it was good, man. Uh, yeah, I'm really glad it was good. Yeah. I'm really glad it was good. And... We'll remember it fondly. Oh, yeah. Forever. Uh, all right. That'll do it. That's the end of our Swamp Thing reviews. No, that's the end of Avery and his George <laughs> Peaches. Uh, Never coming back. We are now going into a kind of hiatus for Fake Nerds Watch. Short hiatus. Um, yeah, not too long. Not too long. We just are not 100% certain on how we are going to proceed uh on something that's like week to week like what we've done with Swamp Thing and Game of Thrones mm -hmm. so uh, there's a can... lot of streaming shows that come out all at once yes and that kind of com complicates things that, that, that yeah. complicates things for sure we have talked about um, we recently so we're all members of the Fake Nerd Podcast you can hear us talk about all kinds of things there uh, that's both here on YouTube and everywhere you find podcasts and all that good stuff uh, we recently were talking about on our episode that we just did that's going to be up on YouTube and on the podcast. We talked about um, The Boys in comparison to the comic and the first three episodes of the Amazon Prime series, The Boys. Uh -huh. uh, ben was not feeling well so, during the time of the recording, so Ben was not with us for that. We have talked about that we might do a little special where we talk about the whole season of The episodes, Boys on Amazon Prime, so we're probably going to do that in the near future. Stranger uh, Things? We're also planning to eventually get to Stranger Things Season 3 discussion. We're waiting on Brandon to finish the series for that one. Uh, also a member of the Fake Nerd Podcast. Yes, yeah. and uh, once we have him, then we will do a whole whole Stranger Things Season 3 discussion. That'll happen, um, because we all have feelings and thoughts about that season for sure. Good ones. They're positive. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, you and I are still trying to get to a uh, Midsommar review. Yes, the further I get, get, get away from that, the more, less I remember. So I need to, we need to do we it need or to, see it again. We need to do it or see it again. <laughs> yes. Uh, but we'll definitely talk about it somewhere, somehow, yes. someday. Uh, other than that... We're, we're a little, like, uncertain of exactly where Fake Nerds Watch is going to go next, but we are going to figure it out. We do know, I mean, this is further down the line, but, like, Mandalorian in November, we talked about doing that. But that's further down the line. Uh, it, yeah. it also depends on the other show we're talking about and when that releases, which is Watchmen. Tick tock, tick tock, So, tick -tock. so oh, Watchmen yeah. and Mandalorian are on the horizon, and we'll... we'll Hopefully they don't come we'll out the same talk week. About, we'll talk about getting to those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but those are, those are certainly on the horizon of things we want to do. Yes. Um, there's a couple of other things Watchmen. we talked about. There's certainly things on YouTube we're talking about. Uh, there's more to come. A whole lot of things happening. Uh, currently, Basement Arcade is about to end its Shadow of the Colossus run. Uh, yep. uh, ben and Ryan are almost at the very end of their Shadow of the Colossus one playthrough. One more episode, baby. They've got one more episode, which will drop later this week. Yep. And yep. that will be it for the Shadow of the Colossus run. And then yep. Basement Arcade will run into a brand new game. Yeah. Uh, Sonic Mania. Yep, Sonic you Mania. said it. Yep. Oh, we've already said it. Oh, we I have? Know. Yes, we have. Oh, yeah, we've been saying it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I also thought we didn't say it, but we have been saying it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Sonic Mania uh, on Basement Arcade will be happening, and more of our podcast stuff. Yeah. Uh, we recently talked about the X-Men films with our friend Mike Matola. Yeah, we did, we did an impossible movie trivia challenge with him. Raiders of the we, Lost Ark. Yes, for Raiders of the Lost Ark. We did the boys' discussion. Uh, Brandon, Ryan, and I have a review special for Hobbs and Shaw coming up. Family, yeah. uh, which is going to drop out, and that's all just about that movie. So if you like that movie, then check that out. You should. Um, yeah, we're all across doing all kinds of things. Go check it out, and uh, that like, be... subscribe, five yeah. stars, oh, bonus hit the, strike. Hit the little I, bell. I like to think we're a five star show, but it's not for me to say. Yeah, hit the little <laughs> bell so you're notified whenever we put up new videos, so you never miss a thing. Yeah, comment down below. What's your favorite Swamp Thing episode? Yeah, what's, who's your favorite oh, DC please, character? Please, yeah. if you watch Swamp Thing, please That's talk to us like, about it. Yeah, we comment will, about we will stuff always, on Swamp Thing. No matter when you're watching this, it could be a year later. We will For still real. want to talk to you about Swamp Thing. We will at DJ, DJ Tony Snark. Just t anything about Swamp Thing, any time of the day, seven o'clock in the morning, I'll wake up and talk to you about Swamp Thing if you need me to. One hundred percent. Like you can add him on Twitter at seven a.m. and he will probably. I have a Swamp Thing alert that like this like brings my brain. Somebody wants to talk about Swamp Thing. <laughs> huh? Yeah. 
It's like Pavlovian. Somebody needs to be exposed. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> the I green? Love, hey, I love talking about Swamp Thing, just not at 7 o'clock in the morning. The, the I'll, answer you back. I'll answer you back. It'll just be later on in the day. All right. In the morning, so, on lights. that note, okay. uh, this is Ben Magnet. You yes. can find Ben Magnet at... Ben Magnet 27 on Instagram and Twitter. That's it. And Ryan? I'm DJ Tony Snark at Everything Everywhere. And I'm Sparks Witty. You can find me at Instagram, S-P-A-R-K-Z Witty. And that's it. Uh, I have I, a broken Swamp Thing figure. Thanks. I'm so sad that. Oh, thanks, bro. I know that. That was I'm, such a bummer that we found out that arm fell off. One day we'll see. Today we'll see. Well, today, right before we start recording we'll this, see, we'll see a show with him have wings because that's a really cool thing in the comics. That'd One day. Cool. One day. Uh, yeah. So uh, until, until then, then yeah. uh, Keep keep chugging along. Keep hashtag hashtag, hashtag swamp, swamp Thing. thing. Uh, and let them know you care about the show, and we'll see you on the next thing. Stay fake, nerds. Do you want to do a sad face for now, for the, for the episode now? You want to do a sad face? Yeah, let's do a sad face. All this right. is now going to be the end of the episode. Hell yeah, you ready? Yeah, I mean, I might have found a better picture right. up to that point, but All let's let's at least right. pick it up. Are you ready? Sad? Yeah. yeah.